Today, we commemorate the 70th anniversary of the adoption at the United Nations of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. This celebration of Human Rights Day comes at a time of great challenges in the Americas. In several countries, we see the systematic violation of human rights at the hands of the state, the failure by the international community to act effectively for an extended period has allowed forces hostile to human rights to entrench themselves in part of our region. Today is a day to remind ourselves that human rights must be actively defended. Inertia, inaction, passivity are what have allowed dictators and human rights violators to become part of the landscape of the Americas. Those of us who believe that human rights are inalienable rights, not something granted or taken away at the whim of a government, are obliged to play an active role to make our voices heard, to expel these practices from our region. Staying silent is to be complicit with the torturers, the murderers, the despots and the tyrants. In practical terms, what that means using all legal means to hold human rights violators responsible through investigation by the International Criminal Court, through sanctions in international bodies, through following through our continued commitment to protect human rights. Eleanor Roosevelt said that universal rights begin in small places, close to home. At the OES, our home is the Americas, and our instrument of protection begins with the Inter-American System of Human Rights, which is also celebrating a 70th anniversary, and which is an invaluable asset that must be protected and strengthened day to day, because today, more than ever, there are people suffering in the Americas that demand we stand up for them. 